first, we're taking a look at a real American hero. Average Joe's to the rescue at a Walmart in South Carolina, but not so average when you learn about this. A shopper with a knife causing a chaotic scene inside Columbia, South Carolina, a Walmart there at that location. The video just being released, this was from last week. Witnesses telling deputies the man was waving his pocket knife, threatening employees, threatening some shoppers, and another witness saying he demanded $20. All right, so what happened? How did we stop this situation? You see it right there. On your screen, Air Force veteran Demario Davis was in the store. He came up from behind with a pole and smacked the man on the head to the ground. The knife knocked out of the suspect's hand, and then police were able to arrest him. The Good Samaritan, uh, Demario Davis, is here with us now. Welcome. Thanks for answering our call, by the way. Uh, how are you feeling today, and, and what really led you to, to act in that moment? Um, I'm feeling real excited today. Um, what led me to act in that moment was just um, pure military training, basically. Oh, you know, just trying to make sure everyone's safe, make sure your surroundings are safe, and um, be a pillar in the community. Yeah, Demario, take me back to that day if you can, and for the viewers. Um, and by the way, thank you for your service. So you you go to Walmart just like any of us do, and you go in to pick up maybe maybe something, a supply or whatnot. Um, when did you know? What was the time frame here? If you know there was an actual dangerous situation unfolding, what were you doing at the time? Well, at the time, um, me and my son, we were at the checkout, and um, we were leaving. And as we we're getting our receipt. My son's like, Dad, that guy has a knife. He just walked in the door. And um, he proceeded himself to go to the customer service desk at first. And the young ladies from behind the desk, they just ran away from him, trying to get away. And he was just screaming absurd things, just being erratic. And um, when he got down to the other area, that's when me and my son proceeded to walk out down towards that way. Um, and I ran into a young lady. And I asked her, I was like, she was an employee that actually I was like, where's the security? And she was like, well, I am security. <laughs> and I was like, oh, man. So as we were just walking down that way, he's getting louder and louder, threatening more people. And um, one gentleman went up to him and tried to stop him, as you see on the camera right there. Um, and he began to try to cut the guy in the face. And that's when all my instincts kicked in. And, like, you know, all the training I received from basic training and Basically, during the time when I went in, it was during 9-11. I went in October 17, 2001. So all of our training was based on stopping situations like that. And um, that's kind of really what kicked in. Wow. What a story. Yeah. Of course. Well, you want to not only protect your family, uh, your son's there, but then also those who were working, those who were shopping at the store. And I noticed it looked like he was turned away from you at the moment when you went in. Was this all strategic? Kind of, sort of. Like, it, it was very strategic. Like I said, it's training. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we're taught to neutralize the situation. You know, you don't want to flare it up more than what it is. You know, people were going up to him trying to say, you see, they just made him more mad. I just casually walked by him and just waited for a moment when he wasn't paying attention to me. Yeah, that was amazing. I, yeah, and he, you took that situation in your own hands there, and thankfully, and you may have saved a lot of folks from, from injury, uh, being hailed a hero, being dubbed a good Samaritan. <laughs> I'll end with that because I wanted to ask you about that. Despite all of that, um, are, you, are you on the hook for, for hitting the man at all? Are there any charges against you for that? We're kind of confused on how that really, how that gets handled. Oh, no, um, no, sir. I haven't received any charges. No one's called me about anything. Um, like I said, he came in wielding a knife at everyone. Like he came in swinging it, threatening employees, and um, like I said, just like any good Samaritan should do. I think, you know, what I mean, we could stop a whole lot more attacks if some citizens just step up. You just know? step up. Yeah, absolutely, and thankful that you did, Demario Davis. We need more Demario Davises around <laughs> in this country. Uh, thank you so much for answering the call. The viewers wanted to hear from you, and it is great. Uh, I'm from Charleston, South Carolina, by the way, uh, so USC fan as well. Good to have you there on. There you go. Game Cox. Go there Game Cox. Go Cox. <laughs> thank you. Thanks, Demario. Take care. Thank you.